I think of my life as a long-term suicide attempt. Um, when I was an infant, I drowned. And somehow I feel like I was supposed to have died then. It was at a, at a cocktail party in Cuernavaca. And I was sitting on the edge of the pool and I didn't have any, and I have very vivid memories of the whole thing. Uh, I see it from multiple points of view. And uh, I don't remember how I got into the pool. Either I decided to go for a swim or my older sister decided to send me for a swim. Uh, either way, I remember being in the water and I remember having my arms out and feeling very peaceful. The water was cool, um, the sun was really hot, it was comfortable, and it, 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 it's really blue. And, and then I just don't remember. And I remember being very happy. It felt so continuous. And the next thing I remember is uh, looking at the scene from above, or above me, and someone screaming and all these drunk adults in sort of summer dresses and uh, guayaberas are spilling their drinks and running towards the edge of the pool and my mom, who was probably in her early 20s then, jumps into the pool in her cocktail dress and strappy sandals and they pull me out of the water. And I'm not breathing, and my heart has stopped. And they hand me to, to my grandfather, who was a cardiologist, who resuscitates me. And then I wake up screaming. Terrified and everyone's panic is in that infant body. <laughs> There's been this constant longing in my life from that day forward for that feeling when I was drowning. Um, the first conscious thought I remember having was, was it as
the desire to find meaning in life. And the desire to find meaning in life is nothing more than the desire to die. <laughs>